it all starts with holding your pen the right way. So let's take a look at how you hold yours. The absolute fundamental of good handwriting is holding your pen the right way. In this video I have four ninja tips for you, four of my ninja tips at least, which will immediately improve your pen grip and give you a much more relaxed writing experience. And we'll also take a look at the four main pen grips people use today. So let's start there. What's your grip? So a look at pen grips. To find out how you hold your pen, that's quite easy actually. You just first you take a look at how many fingers you use to hold your pen. So is it three or is it four? And that's the only major difference in pen grip from here on out. Second thing you look at is do you cross over your thumb or not? Like so. So I hold my pen with three fingers and I do not cross over the thumb. Uh, so that means I have an open grip instead of a lateral grip or closed grip, which would mean I hold my thumb like this. Yes. So the three finger grips are tripods. And this is a dynamic tripod. So it's an open dynamic three finger grip tripod. The dynamic lateral grip means I cross over the thumb like, well, like so, or like, well, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's unnatural to me, but I try. Um, the four finger grips are more like, like this. And when you see this grip, I always think it's a bit cramped up, but well, people say it's not, it's, it's quite relaxed actually. And you use bigger motions when you write this way, which means um, a bigger motion of circle, more dynamic range, and also it means you're much less likely you're much less likely to get a sore uh, hand, a cramped up hand in the future, uh, especially when writing long stretches for long periods of time. So that's a good grip to try, but it's not it's not natural to me, so I don't use it. Well, the dynamic uh, quadruped, as it's called, the four finger grip, is uh, open. And the lateral quadruped is more like, like, so I guess, I don't know, but let's try and show you down below. So let's start by showing you the dynamic tripod here. And that's just a relaxed grip between the thumb and the index finger resting on the middle finger. So number one is the dynamic tripod. The most common grip again as thought by many school teachers. They would be proud of me. The second one would be the lateral tripod. So we cross over the thumb and we write like this. And that's a pain for me, but I'm going to try anyway. And there we go. So now we go over to four fingers. And this is the dynamic quadruped. So number three and now I'm going to press a bit harder I feel but that's just me maybe it works for other people I'm not judging. And number four would be the lateral quadruped and this is very hard for me but it's something like I guess this and I guess you need a bigger pen for this one. Oh well, lateral. And now let's do the bonus one, in which we move the index finger and middle finger for the upstroke with the middle finger and the downstroke with the index finger and the thumb just gently supports the pen. It 
It's not actually called the pen and stroke, I just made that up. But it looks cool though. And as you can see, my handwriting is not particularly neat. Although I do have some cool swirls in there, so that's... I guess people think that's aesthetically pleasing. Now back to you, Sean. So which of these grips is actually best? Well, science turns out says it doesn't really matter that much. So for pressing down harder or softer, it doesn't matter whether you hold it laterally or dynamically. Uh, three or four fingers, you don't strain more, science says. But the sample pool was pretty small, I guess. So like 70, 72 students, if I remember correctly. So that's not a very good sample pool, I guess. My experience is that four finger grips, as I said, they seem to, they seem a bit cramped up in my opinion. And it doesn't feel good to me. So I'm a bit biased against the four finger grip. And I don't like the closed grip, but to be honest, I actually don't like any of these grips because the dynamic tripod, three fingers open, most people, and I've asked around a bit, most people press their index finger and their thumb and that's where they hold the pen and they write with these two fingers mostly. Whereas, as I said, I like, whereas I like to write with the fingers more so. so I just wiggle around a bit, I guess. <laughs> All kidding aside, it doesn't really matter. It's personal preference and you can do whatever you want with your pen. By the way, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the first episode ever of Mission Inc, my new channel. And I'm very grateful you're here watching, uh, trying to improve your handwriting like me. My handwriting is not that good at all. Oh, and if you like this video, please forget to... Forget. Not forget, of course. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button below. It means the world to me. I'm putting a lot of effort into this channel, trying my best to improve your handwriting and mine as well uh, along the way. So, the four ninja tips I promised you earlier. The first one is write with your fingers, not with your hand or wrist. And this comes as a surprise to many people and it goes contrary to uh, most recommendations online. Most recommendations online say you write like this, you write um, using your entire wrist and your entire arm with a large range of motion, which has advantages, of course, but the real penman uh, on this planet, let's say, I've watched this video of a very old woman who had an incredible uh, handwriting style and she actually told me to use the fingers instead of the entire hand. So you use the index finger and the middle finger and the thumb is just, just there for support and you write using an up and down stroke of your fingers and the horizontal motion and that's it. And you write as lightly as possible which is my next tip. Hold the pen as relaxed as humanly possible. So if you find you have to press down on the paper real, real hard, that means your pen is not very good quality and good pens actually write under their own weight. And bad pens, you have to press down, which reduces ink flow actually, cramps up your hand, which gives you the writer's claw as I, I call it. <laughs> and uh, it's, just, it's just no good. So I tend to hold the pen very relaxed, very lightly, and just brush the paper with it. But no worries, I, I just recently learned of this trick. So I didn't know before I've messed up my fountain pens by pressing too hard, reducing ink flow and stuff. So, but with ballpoint pens, uh, this, is, this goes as well. So generally it's a good rule of thumb to write really, really relaxed, in a really relaxed manner. Just let it flow. Second tip for lefties. So if you're a lefty, you could simply, you find you have difficulty um, seeing what you write because of your hand being in the way. You can simply hold the pen up a little less, a little higher, uh, which allows you to see. Also, it, it increases your, your dynamic range if you 
decide to use the fingers alone. So that's a, another advantage of holding the pen high up. I tend to hold the pen up about here, so a bit higher, which gives me more well range, um, which means I use smaller motions for more letters. All right, my last ninja tip is don't bend your wrist while you write. So you see these people, you see people writing with a cramped up wrist, and it's especially common for people with uh, a closed pen hold, like a lateral position, um, to bend the wrist a little and write in a, I don't know, what it's called, like an O kind of shape, something like that. Um, it cramps up the wrist really bad, can give long-term problems. And also, um, if you want to know if you grip too hard, you can simply watch whether the wrist lifts up from the paper. If the wrist lifts up, that's a sign, a clear sign you grip the pen too hard and you have to release it a bit more. And again, if the pen doesn't have ink flow, doesn't write when you don't press, you should probably get a better pen. Some thoughts, let's say. The right pen grip starts with having the right pen. And what the right pen is for you, that's another video. Every type of pen requires a different grip. So you should just try out what works for you, what comes natural, um, what works for the pen. But also, if you find you have a poor grip, even when you pay attention to your grip and correct it while writing, maybe buy a better pen. A good quality pen can go for as little as $15 nowadays. That is a fountain pen. Your pen grip is an extension of your posture. So if you are very hunched over when you write, um, chances are your pen grip isn't good as well. And I'm not quite sure whether the bad pen grip is the starting point or the end point, but it is all, all one chain. So good posture is actually important when writing. Um, try and sit straight up. It's not that hard. Just try and sit relaxed and write relaxed with as little effort as possible is my rule of thumb. And if you feel like flying over the paper, not straining anywhere, then you're in the zone and you have an excellent pen grip. So this brings me to my last point, which is a bit of a cliche maybe. Your pen grip is an extension of you. So it's different for everyone. It's different for every personality type. And it matters what you like, your preference. Writing is all about preference, I guess. It's all about seeing what you like, trying what you like, feeling what you like, and then making it your own. So go out and write some more and try out some pen grips. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button and I'll see you next time.